Hello, Tim from Wowza here. We are going to demonstrate real-time streaming at scale, a high-performance product from Wowza Media Systems. I'm joined here by my colleague, Andrew Ramberg, a sales engineer here with Wowza. Andrew, thanks for joining. Would you mind giving us a brief overview of what I can see you already have running right in front of us? Sure. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, so what you'll notice here is I've got just a browser window open. On the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we have a publish and a playback. Um, these are actually created from the SDK that we provide with this new service. So on the left, we're pushing in a WebRTC stream to our service. And on the right-hand side, we're playing it back. Oh, okay. So you've got an SDK. Someone can go in, get the documentation, drop this into their web application, their web page, and they have a ultra low latency publishing platform. I see some information on the bottom. I, I assume that comes from the Wowza Streaming Cloud REST API? Correct. Yeah. So before the stream started, we did obtain the API information. And with the API call, you receive back a stream name and a token. And then that's just put into this uh, to make a connection. Sounds like you can automate this process very easily. Now, one thing I've noticed about um, WebRTC, and before I go into this, I, I, I need to um, ask one more question. That link in the middle, what does that do? Yeah. So the link in the middle of this page, you'll see if I hit copy on this, it's going to take uh, the playback information, and if I put it in a new browser window, this is a link that could be shared uh, with anybody that needs to view the stream. Uh, so when I pop it in, you'll get just a standard playback page with uh, full screen play out of the stream. I see. So I could leverage that SDK. I could distribute this link or embed this link, and I have a um, completely scaled solution. I don't even have to build a front end for it if I don't want to. Jump back to the other tab, if you would. Um, a couple elements I want to explore, and I, I'm going to get back to my other question in a second. I see that live and then two now in the upper left. Yeah. So this is a live viewer count, and it is nice because you'll see we have on the right, of course, a viewer window and then the one I opened. So it's just calculating how many viewers are you know actively watching. And it's nice because it does change uh, frequently during the playout. So the publisher knows you know how large their audience gives you, it gives you an idea how many are viewing. Wave your hand a couple more times. I want to continually remind ourselves of how fast this is. I can't even begin to measure that, but it looks like it's well within half a second. Another quick question, maximum bit rate in the upper right of the left pane there. Um, what does that do? Yeah, so if the publisher feels that their upstream bandwidth isn't sufficient enough for the uh, publishing bitrate, they can actually adjust that by clicking on it. And this can be done you know, during the stream if needed. So if there's reports coming back that the quality isn't uh, as good as they'd like it to be, they can drop that down to accommodate. So we can dynamically set the bitrate going up that first mile. Um, one thing I've noticed, and this was my question, do I have to use the browser to serve into this platform or do I have other options? Yeah, that's a good question. So we have the ability, of course, to use the browser, but we also have an RTMP ingest option available. And what's nice about that is it does allow the, the hardware encoders that support RTMP to push into our system and then it's converted to WebRTC. Can you demonstrate that? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So in this case, I'm going to bring in just a version of OBS and this is using the standard RTMP publishing. So I'm gonna hit just start and you'll see it take over my stream. And I'm, what I'd like to show, I guess, is the latency. So you'll see on the left, this is the source encoding on the right, this is playback. And you'll notice that the difference between the two is around a second. It, it, if you weren't paying attention, it would seem al almost instant, but it looks like half a second. So you're using OBS, open broadcast software, open source, um, encoder that's available for download as we speak. Um, is Wowza paying any special attention to OBS? Is there anything they're working on to, you know, I see that RTMP is exceptionally fast, but is there a way to even go faster when you're not using the browser? There will be, yes. We're going to be releasing a version of OBS that will have, of course, the standard RTMP publishing option, but also the ability to, to do WebRTC directly from OBS. And, well, and that should reduce the latency down to that half a second mark. Again. Real quick, tap that workflow diagram in the upper right-hand corner. So how's this working, um, Andrew, just from a left-to-right standpoint? Sure. On the left-hand side, you know, you're going to see our encoding options available. And as we discussed, we have the browser-based and standard RTMP and just options. 
um, in order to create a stream, that's done using the West, uh, excuse me, the Wowza API. And so once that's created, we can receive those stream types in. We'll convert them to WebRTC if it's an RTMP stream. And then those streams are replicated throughout our uh, very large global network of edge servers. So that's a WebRTC CDN distributing globally. And we can handle audiences that are small or you know huge audiences up to a million views if needed. My takeaway here is while the streaming cloud is doing what it has done since its inception is a premium origin into a CDN platform, which as many of you know, we provide CDN services using a variety of um, conventional CDNs, but here we're leveraging a very capable and very high performance CDN up to a million viewers. Um, so this is very exciting. I appreciate all of you for taking a time, taking some time to watch this video. We would very much like to hear from you from a business standpoint, if you're interested in quickly integrating this into whatever platform you're um, considering or managing, let us know. There probably is some messaging that accompanied this video. There may even be a link in the description to more information. And by the way, if you are a technical person and you'd like to look into some of the backend aspects of this, API, encoding strategies, et cetera, we have some more information that we'll be distributing on that as well. But most importantly, we wanted to share the excitement we have about a very simple, quick to deploy platform, real-time streaming at scale from Wowza Media Systems. Thank you all very much for watching.